Lesson 289 The past is over. It can touch me not. Hi there. Are you ready to make this day, this very moment, the turning point in your life? To start a new chapter unburdened from the chains of the past and anchored in principles entirely different from those that have held you back so far? Let's find out what Lesson 289 has to teach about this. The past is over. It can touch me not. Unless the past is over in my mind, the real world must escape my sight. For I am really looking nowhere, seeing but what is not there. How can I then perceive the world forgiveness offers? This the past was made to hide, for this the world that can be looked on only now. It has no past. For what can be forgiven but the past, and if it is forgiven it is gone. Father, let me not look upon a past that is not there. For you have offered me your own replacement, in a present world the past has left untouched and free of sin. Here is the end of guilt. And here am I made ready for your final step. Shall I demand that you wait longer for your son to find the loveliness you planned to be the end of all his dreams and all his pain? In other words, while not a direct quote from the text, the phrase only love is real is often associated with a course in miracles. This is because it captures effectively one of the central themes of the course and is closely related to today's lesson. So, here is the spiritual leap we are taking through this course, only love is real, everything else is but a dream. The love we extended in the past remains forever, and so does the love we've been graced with. That was real. Everything else is merely an illusion that never happened in reality and exists solely within our mind, shaping our perception of the world we see. All else was simply a dream and we don't carry the dreams from previous nights into our current daily lives, do we? So, why should we carry the dreams of our past into our daily lives then? Lesson 7. I see only the past. However, if we do bring those dreams into our present, others will react based on them. If we let these past dreams shape our current state of mind, the entire world around us will manifest accordingly. Lesson 8. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Consider this, if we carry past grievances against the same or the opposite sex into our current relationships, how can we truly unlock and receive the blessings that the souls journeying with us are ready to offer in the present moment? Lesson 68. Love holds no grievances. We simply need to release these grievances. While forgiveness is key, the first step is to not cling to them in the first place. The past is over. It can touch me not. This applies even to the mistakes we've made. If we embrace the idea that only love is real, and any harm done to us by others was merely an illusion, then the same holds true for our own actions. Indeed, as we forgive our brothers, we pave the way for forgiving ourselves as well and we become less vulnerable to that sense of guilt or sin that might otherwise come to haunt us. The past is over. It can touch me not. As often emphasized, these words wield significant power. By repeating them and embracing the awareness that this present moment is free from past conditioning, just imagine a new chapter beginning in your life this very moment. This new life is grounded in principles different from those that governed your past. This new one is a life of love, peace, abundance, brotherhood, and oneness. Shouldn't we start right now? The past is over. It can touch me not. The past is over. It can touch me not. The past is over. It can touch me not. Isn't that inspiring? Aren't you excited about starting your new life, right from this holy instant, this very present moment when you can shed the chains of the past and allow the universe to unfold through you? 
remember to practice morning and evening, and set aside a few moments every hour to revisit today's idea. Whenever you sense that past conditioning is still lingering in your present moment, gently but firmly affirm to yourself. The past is over. It can touch me not. You're doing incredibly well on this journey, and each step brings you closer to this new life that we've only just begun to glimpse these days. See you tomorrow for another transformative lesson. A quick note, we're journeying through the section called What is the Holy Spirit? If you've missed the introduction, just click on the video link that'll appear on your screen soon. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.